Welcome to the channel, and if you're a viewer of this channel, we're going to do something a little bit different this week in place of our normal weekly housing market report. If you're new to the channel, then what we're going to do could be beneficial to you if you clicked on this video because we know, as we've talked about at length on this channel at different times, a lot of people are moving to South Carolina, and a lot of people are moving to the Myrtle Beach area, being, on some senses, the most moved to city in the United States two years in a row. But as a local and a realtor, I know better than anyone that there's a lot of things to consider if you're considering that move to this part of the state of South Carolina. And so what we're going to do is unpack a little bit of data, go over some real live statistics that will help drive your decision making if you are considering moving to this part of the country. So basically, when it comes to cities in the state of South Carolina, when you look at anything east of the city of Columbia, when we're talking about the northern part of the state, you have Florence, Conway and Myrtle Beach. So you've got three cities, each with about 40,000 people, Conway being a little bit less. But if you look at this, the city of Florence, 2022, 40,000 people, city of Myrtle Beach, 38,000 people, 2022, and then Conway, 27,300 people as of 2022. Now, all of these cities are growing. So you could go to a place like citydata.com and just see the growth metrics for any of these cities. But I think what is a little bit better to tell this story that we're about to tell is to really look at the population of the counties. And so if you take just Horry County and Florence County, Horry County is much larger in terms of population, 383,000 people in Horry County, Florence County being around 140,000 people as of 2022. Now these areas are growing. Hence the reason that we're doing this video, because I know that a lot of you out there from places all over the country are moving to this part of the United States. So what we're gonna just take a few minutes to really look at are some key things to consider, some data, and then just some circumstantial scenarios that I think are gonna be very helpful in your decision-making as you're looking at these areas. And probably some stuff that's not possibly thought about because I know from my own experience that a lot of people are looking at Myrtle Beach and they're looking at Conway and they're not considering Florence. And there could be reason on either side to actually make that adjustment and look at all three of these areas. So let's dive right in. The first thing that I want to look at is pricing. So in, let's actually start with Myrtle Beach. So this state is comprised of active listings. This is not counting condos. Now, obviously, the condo market in Myrtle Beach is a big market as well. But just keep that in mind. And the thing that I want to point out is this average price per square foot. So in the city of Myrtle Beach, the average price per square foot is going to be $224 currently. So if you go just 16 miles west to Conway, South Carolina, the average price per square foot drops by about $30 to $194 a square foot. Now, just about 70 miles west of Myrtle Beach is Florence, South Carolina. The average price per square foot in Florence being $145 per. Now, that's one facet to consider, but then for a lot of you out there, the question is going to be, yes, but what kind of home can I buy? The assumption being possibly when you look at that to say, well, are there no quality homes that I may consider in Florence? And that's certainly not the case. But let's go in the same order that we just did and look at the market segments in each of these three cities. And so at an average of $224 per square foot in Myrtle Beach, you can see that the market segments broken into quarters are from about a million dollars, 850000 but they go all the way up into the millions. The next market segment being around half a million dollars, we'll call it three hundred and fifty, dollars and then we'll call it 300000 and down being the bottom market segment holistically for Myrtle Beach. And so, yes, these are overall more expensive homes. There's a lot of new homes in the Myrtle Beach area and the price per square foot also being higher, not just because of location, but because of the types of homes, a lot of beachfront property, of course, driving those numbers up, that kind of thing. Now, if you go to Conway, again, just about 16 miles west of Myrtle Beach, price per square foot, $30 less per. The top market segment in Conway, starting at around half a million dollars and up, dropping down 150 to the 300,000s, call it 250 to 350,000 being that next to bottom market segment and the bottom market segment in Conway topping off at $267,000. And indeed, what you're going to find as we look at this is Conway is a mid-range in between these two markets. Uh, Conway also with a lot of new homes. Now, Florence at the beginning of this year had around 14 housing developments currently under construction or those 14 still are. So I don't think any of those have been finished from the beginning of the year. So make no mistake, there's a lot of new quality homes here in Florence. There's some great neighborhoods in Florence also, which is currently where I'm at as I record this video. And now I do service all three of these areas, which is why I'm trying to shed a little bit of light to them and just put something out there that hopefully is gonna be helpful if you're watching this. And if it is, please let me know in the comments. Let us know that we're doing something that you're actually benefiting from. But at an average of $145 
per square foot, the market segments are lower. So the top market segment in Florence, starting at about $535,000. Next, you have the homes in the 300,000s, low 400,000s, the homes in the 200,000s, and then you have the homes that are in the 100,000s and below. So some of the value in this is, let's say you have $185,000 to spend on a home, you're going to really want to consider the pros and cons of moving to Florence as opposed to Myrtle Beach. Maybe Conway could be a good median, but by and large, you can probably get a better home in Florence than you're going to in one of those other two markets. Now on the flip side, if you're looking to get a million dollar home, you may want to consider Myrtle Beach or Conway. We have some nice homes in Florence. There's usually only a couple of listings at a time that are active in the million dollar range as opposed to Myrtle Beach. There could be a couple of handfuls of listings that are, you know, around a million dollars at any given time. And you may look at all the surrounding factors and all the variables and say, you know, I'd rather go to Myrtle Beach because I don't have as much of a spread of options in terms of inventory at that price point in Florence. But another thing that's really important is location. It's another major factor in this. And one thing that I think a lot of people that have moved to Myrtle Beach over recent years didn't realize is that for a significant price decrease, they could have bought a comparable, if not better home. They would have had better options to look at, especially if they were anywhere from $750,000 and below in their budget. They could have gotten a much nicer home and they may have thought they were sacrificing location if being close to the ocean was one of their driving factors, not realizing that by just moving out 70 miles west, it's an hour and a half drive, a little bit less than that, to get down to the coast from Florence. But there were actually some really good features that came along with moving to Florence. As you can see here, Florence is situated right on I-95, the midway point between New York and Miami, and also situated right there at the start point of I-20. And so having immediate access to these two interstates takes you anywhere you need to go up and down the East Coast. Obviously, I-95 is the East Coast corridor in terms of an interstate, and I-20 can take you pretty much anywhere in the country. You know, you start out on I-20 to go out west. And so you have a comparable city size, yet a little bit less congestion because in Florence, you don't deal with all the tourism that you deal with in Myrtle Beach, yet you're still close enough to easily make a day trip down to Myrtle Beach. So for some people, this is an extremely attractive option for those reasons. Also in Florence, you're only about the same amount of travel time away from Charlotte and Charleston. So in terms of location, I've found that for a lot of people, they just didn't know. They didn't come across content like this. They didn't realize they weren't familiar with our area. They, they didn't know that Florence had so much to offer in terms of its location, a comparable size city with a lot of culture itself, especially with all the development, all the tens of millions of dollars that has been dumped into Florence, especially over the last 15 years to develop our downtown district and just different things in terms of the arts and culture, food, all of the above, a lot of which we try to cover on this channel as well as Myrtle Beach. So it's definitely something to consider. Now, a nice middle ground is going to be Conway because for some people, they're going to want to be closer to the beach than that. They don't want to take an hour and a half trip to get down there. In Conway, you're right on the doorstep of the coast being only, you know, we'll say 20 miles away from the coast. So that's certainly an advantage from that standpoint. Now you're going to lose the convenience of being right there on I-95 and I-20. You're going to lose some of that distance to Charlotte. But for some people, that's not as big of a deal. They're saying, well, I'm not going to be doing all that kind of traveling. Being closer to the beach is really what I want, but I do want to save the money. Conway is up and coming. There's all kinds of new construction and development going on in Conway for this very reason. So Conway is definitely a developing town. It's smaller than Florence. It's not going to offer quite as much in terms of shopping, culture, the city. However, you're so much closer to Myrtle Beach that that's easily substituted. I mean, if you live in Conway and you want to shop or eat, you're literally right there on the doorstep of Myrtle Beach. Conway is a little bit of a smaller community, but there's a lot of residential development going on in Conway for these reasons. And it's particularly that $30 dip in the average price per square foot, you can just get a nicer home for cheaper or, or a comparable home for cheaper, should I say, in Conway than in the immediate Myrtle Beach areas. And then of course, lastly, you have Myrtle Beach and there's not a lot that needs to be said here. You already know what you're looking for if you're moving to Myrtle Beach. You're right there on the coast. Out of the three markets that we're looking at, no one can compete with the shopping and the culture and the entertainment and the restaurant food options that are available in Myrtle Beach. There's just no comparison. Conway 
or Florence. Certainly Conway gets the upper hand in this regard because they're so close to Myrtle Beach. But if you're living right there in Myrtle, especially particularly for those of you that have the budget and that's what you're looking for, you don't mind competing with the tourist, you don't mind some of the stuff that comes along with that, then Myrtle Beach is certainly a very attractive option for people all over the country because even being the most expensive out of these three markets, Myrtle Beach is still significantly cheaper than what a lot of you are dealing with in other parts of the country, particularly, you know, if you're up north or out west. Hopefully you find this helpful. Hopefully some of the visuals of the map help you piece it together, make a little bit of sense. I can say that most people that are natives of Florence, like myself, really consider Myrtle Beach a second home. Many of us have homes down in Myrtle Beach. We travel down there frequently. We've grown up making day trips down to the beach. It really feels like a next door neighbor or just an extension of our own town while equally looking at having I-95 and I-20 also as conveniences. So it really just depends on what you're looking for, what you think your day-to-day -day life is going to look like. Obviously where you're going to be working is a big deal, but for a lot of people that are looking to move here are retired or you have for whatever reason, the flexibility, perhaps you're working from home to be able to choose. And I think that each place offers distinct advantages. Hopefully, this short video helped you to see that, and I want this to be beneficial. That's the reason for it, so if you found it that way, please give the video a like. But obviously, this is promotional material. I am a realtor servicing both of these areas. I'm part of the Coastal Carolina MLS and the PD MLS, so servicing Myrtle Beach, Conway, Florence, and everything in between, all the way out to Sumter, South Carolina. So if you're looking into our area and you need more information, you'd like to drill down a little bit deeper, my contact information is down in the description of the video. Reach out to me today. We can set up a complimentary buyer's consultation and try to figure out what the things are that fit your needs the most are available in these different markets and try to dial in exactly what move is going to make the most sense for you. And so with that being said, I look forward to hearing from y'all. If you have any other questions I didn't cover in this video, obviously this was very brief. There's a lot of things that you would need to consider beyond what we looked at today. Again, shoot me an email or send me a text and I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. And with that being said, I wish you the absolute best on your home journey and y'all take care.